in today's role-playing video, the new girl at school is fake. Oh, Kenzie, you were supposed to meet me outside like 10 minutes ago. What's going on? And now you're not even answering your phone? Uh, I definitely just need to take matters into my own hands. Kenzie, we're gonna be late. Wait, you're not watching TV? And you're not making food? Oh, uh, she better not be still getting ready. Oh, Sky! Oh, sorry for scaring you, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am. What is going on? You're acting a little bit erratic. I'm just panicking because I don't know where Mackenzie is and she's not answering her phone and we have to hurry. We cannot be late. This is a big day. Why is it a big day? Mackenzie didn't mention anything to me. Ugh, I gotta go. Ugh, what is wrong with that crazy girl? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. I thought you might have been taking you forever to get ready, but you're not even up yet. One eternity later. We are so late. And you said it would be quick. I was. No, you weren't. You literally took forever. You took an eternity. Well, it's too late to look back now and feel regret. We can only move forward and get to school ASAP. Yeah, until we miss the big thing at school, whatever it is. Yeah, I can't remember what it is, but I feel like since we're already late for school, it doesn't even matter. I guess you do have a pretty good point. Yeah, Brookhaven High can wait. Hey, did you guys go to Brookhaven High? I'm from Bloxburg, and you can just call me the boy from Bloxburg, though. Uh, hi, boy from Bloxburg. What do you want? Well, I need to tell you something super important. And if you don't listen, your lives will be ruined forever. You have to trust me. I mean it. Uh... And I think that's our cue to leave. No, you can't go. We need to talk. Girly, come on. It's time to leave. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Stop! The new girl at school is fake. Beware. Beware. Okay, he was certified scary. Yeah, you're telling me. Did you hear it? He was screaming at us? No idea, girly. What'd he say? No idea. That's why I was asking you. Probably something super scary and weird. Jeez, what a creep. Yeah, creep is an understatement. Moments later. Wait, so what's going on today? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. Are you sure that today is even the big day then? Well, yeah. The teacher kept reminding us about today. Hmm. I think it might have messed up the days or something. What? How? Because you don't even know what's happening. Well, neither do you. Well, I'm not the one saying something big is gonna happen today. Well, it is. I can't remember what it is, but it is. Okay, well, that's very helpful. Okay, you're being super negative right now. I'm just speaking my truth, girly. You're cramping my style, and I called you out for it. If that's negative, then I think it's your fault. Oh, don't even start with me right now. And why not? Are you my enemy? No, why would I be? I'm your bestie. Oh, well, it sure seems like it, that's for sure. Okay, you're just being paranoid. I always have your back. You're definitely being sarcastic. I can feel it. No, I'm not. Stop gaslighting me. You are so good at it. I'm being serious, girly. I love you. Mackenzie, Sky. Yes? Uh, hello, Mrs. Principal, ma'am. Why are you both not in class? We just got to school. We're running a little bit behind. You're running an eternity behind. Get your butts to class before I give you detention in my office for the rest of the week. Sorry. Yeah, it won't happen again. Moments later. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That's what was the big news for today. See, I told you I was right. Wait, what? There's a new girl in Brookhaven High. <laughs> you are so I know, right? I'm the funniest one around. Ugh, she's already trying to steal my man, Sky. Something needs to be done or I'm gonna snap. Oh, look who decided to join us. Oh, hey, Teach. Sorry we're late. Hey, Kenzie, Sky, I made a new friend. Late? Class is pretty much done. You are in big trouble, girls. I am not happy one bit. I'm sorry we overslept. Me? I mean, me. I overslept. Better, girly? Yes, much better. Good, I'm glad. You two just won't stop, will you? Um... You're getting rewarded with detention after school. Yay! Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Are you joking? No, I'm not. Now go sit down. Ooh, you're in trouble. Oh, shut up, mama's boy. Hey, I'm not a mama's boy. You kind of are. Hi, I'm Sandra, by the way. Nice to meet you girls. Josh was telling me so much about the both of you. I'm Kenzie, and this is my bestie, Sky. You are both literal queens. So pretty. Thanks, girl. Oh, you are so beautiful, too. Where are you from? I'm from Bloxburg. Really? That place is the worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Josh told me you guys hate 
Bloxburg, so I thought it would be funny. <laughs> you are funny. I like your sense of humor. I totally agree. Isn't she just the best? I knew you guys would like her. Shut up, Josh. Why? Because you're not allowed to say that. Exactly. Huh? I'm confused. You're always confused. Never trust a boy in a girl's sweater, they say. Quiet, or I will extend that detention. I am serious. Yeah, girls. <laughs> that means you too, Josh. 20 minutes later. He's a bit much, isn't he? Yeah, way too much. Yeah, he's got his undies in a knot sometimes. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe that I'm getting. Oh, and it gets worse sometimes, that's for sure. So, what are we gonna do for the rest of the block? Yeah, we've got an off block. Oh, I'm sorry, but the thing is, I don't have an off block. What? No. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry. You best be. Okay, but we'll see you later, Mo. Definitely. See you girls later. Wow, I really like her. Yeah, me too. I think she's got bestie vibes for sure. Yeah, I definitely see us being three besties together. Oh my god, yeah, that's totally gonna happen. Eek, I'm excited. It's about time we had a third. Yeah, you got that right, girly. Moments later. Should we get something from the cafeteria, girly? Ooh, I am pretty hungry. Yeah, me too. So, what are we gonna get, girly? Oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding me. Wait, what? Look over there. Friendly fire. You have gotta be kidding me. This is giving traitor vibes. Yeah, you're telling me. Unbelievable. What if Ashley and Ayla are getting close with Sandra and then they start bullying us together? That would be terrible. You're telling me. We would be completely outnumbered and that would not be good. Yeah, I guess we should start preparing for the worst. Hey, Mackenzie, Sky, why don't you come over here instead of staring at us like creepy dweebs? Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm going the other direction. Yeah, me too, girly. Ugh, they are such dweebs. <laughs> yeah, they are so scared of Ashley. I think I met those two girls earlier today. If I was you, I would totally stay away from them if you cared about your social life. Trust me, I knew that from the moment I met them. But that's why I made them feel completely comfortable around me. So I could gain secrets and make fun of them forever. Oh my god, that is absolutely genius. Wow, you seem so cool, Sandra. Thank you. I try my best to not try at all because I'm so naturally amazing. Yeah, you totally are. You are too, Ayla. Now, could you grab me a coffee? I'm just in the middle of my fast and starting to get a little peckish. Oh, of course. Anything for you, Sandra. Well, now that that lower-tiered friend has run off, we should totally, like, be besties and tell each other everything. I so agree, Sandra. You're, like, the most trusting person ever. I've never told anyone this, but I am, like, so self-conscious of the way that I look. Oh, my God. Me, too. Ugh, it's, like, the worst. And I've never told anyone this before, but my parents aren't really, like, that rich rich, which sucks. We just steal money from Ayla's family because they are so rich. They basically have unlimited money and they're just too stupid to notice. That's the only reason I'm friends with her. No way, that's crazy. Here's your coffee, Sandra, and what's so crazy? None of your business, Ayla, so shut up. But I wanna know, I don't wanna feel left out. Oh, we were just talking about how crazy it is that there's so many dweebs at this school. Yeah, what she said. Meanwhile. Okay, I think this is the best place to hide, girly. But why? It's so open in here. All you have to do is walk in and then you'll immediately see us. The key point to this whole thing is that you have to walk in to see us. What do you mean, key point? And yes, exactly. You just have to walk in. Because why would Ashley, Ayla, or Sandra even walk into the gym? That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, they never go to the gym. Not to mention, if they were looking for us, they would never suspect to check the gym. It's actually a really good point. Oh, man, I would have never thought of that. Chess girly, not checkers. But on to more pressing matters. What if Ashley has gone to Sandra and she starts bullying us now? Ugh, I don't know. I don't really have a plan for that yet. Well, we'll have to think of something like ASAP. I totally... Ouch! Gosh, what the heck was that for? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally didn't even mean to do that. It's fine. It just hurt a lot. Do you want me to kiss it better? Please. Uh-uh, there will be no kissing in front of me. I'll tell you that much. Early. Wait, why are you both in the gym? You're like never in the gym. We're hiding. From who? Ashley, obviously. Why? I thought you had numbers with Sandra now. Nope, it looks like she's friends with Ashley now. Yeah, we saw her chilling with her in the study lounge when she was supposed to be in class, or at least that's what she told us. No way! Yeah. I just don't buy it. She might just be talking to them. She told me that she hates popular mean girls, but I'll find out what's going on. Okay, don't take too long finding out, Josh. Alright, I'll go right after I'm done practicing ball. Okay, fine. Five minutes later. Now she's talking to Noah? 
Weird. It's like she wants to be friends with everyone. Right? Honestly, it's kind of sus in my books. Yeah, my books say the exact same thing. I'll talk to you later, gorgeous boy. Wait, please come back. Hey, wait up, besties. Oh, Fuf. Hey, why Fuf, Kenzie? Oh, no reason. You just ran up on us, and I thought you'd be someone else. And then I realized it was just you, so what a relief. Oh, I see. So, uh, have you made any new friends other than us? Not really. I think you girls are, like, my number ones for sure. Other people, I mean, seem nice, I guess. Uh, do you like those mean girls from earlier? Oh, heck no. They seem like the worst. I was just talking to them because they called me over and seemed nice at first. Yeah, they literally are the worst. But that Ashley girl, she told me a secret. What? What was it? No way. What'd she tell you? She told me that she's poor and that she steals money from that Ayla girl. That's the only reason that she's friends with her. No way. That is actually so crazy. Not even my secrets are that bad. Yeah, same here, girly. Well, what are your secrets? Well, I have a few, but some of my craziest ones are... Hello, girls. Oh, all of you seem scared. No, we're just waiting to see what you have to say. Well, I was thinking, Mackenzie and Skye, you could get back to your class. No, we have this block off. Well, go study or something. I don't know. But we were just showing Sandra around. That is so kind of you, but I would actually love a word with Sandra. I just want to see how she's liking it so far. So run along, ladies. Okay. Talk to you later, Sandra. Sandra! You can just call me S from now on. S, I like it. 20 minutes later. This is actually the worst. We never get detention. Sorry, this one's on me, girly. It's okay, it's both our faults, but mostly yours since you caused us being late, silly. Oh, Josh, do you have good news for us? Better be good news. We're about to head into detention. I don't want bad news before going into detention. It's amazing news. Well, you've got us waiting patiently. Yeah, just spit it out, Josh. Sanders just told me that she loves both of you, and she doesn't even like the mean girl. Yes, looks like we've won the battle. Heck yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Man, what's got him so scared? Ahem, <clears throat> late again. <laughs> oh, we're so sorry. Josh just had to tell us something super important. Yeah, we weren't trying to get in any more trouble. Get your butts in there before I give you detention for the rest of the week. We'll be good, I promise. Yeah, no more problems. Good, because you're skating on thin ice right now. Meanwhile... You both are, like, honestly the coolest girls ever. Well, rest assured, we like you two. And you're definitely part of our social group, which automatically makes you popular. Yeah, unlike those dweebs. Yes, unlike those dweebs. Yeah, they're definitely dweebs, that's for sure. They're such losers. They told me the most embarrassing things ever. What? What did they tell you? Do tell. Well, Mackenzie, she still wets the bed. And Skye sleeps in between her parents because she's scared of ghosts. Also, I saw Mackenzie pick her nose. Ew, that is so nasty. Totally believable. Those two are such dweebs. I agree. And the best part, they think we're friends. So it'll be so funny making fun of them behind their backs. I love backstabbing. It's my favorite thing to do. Two hours later. I finally found it. Finally. Now I can expose her. I don't know why everyone was giving me the wrong direction. So not cool. How the heck did it take you so long to find out where the school was? Are you stupid or something? Hey, do you go here? Yeah, do you not go here? Look, I need to tell you something super important. You have to believe me. Well, I don't deal with super important stuff. I just like to play ball and work out. I don't like serious things. But you need to know this. Bro, you're like really creeping and I do not vibe with it. I think I'm gonna leave now. Oh, why won't anyone listen to me? I'm trying to help them. Hello, please, someone come to the front of this school. We've got a fake person going on here that needs to be taken down. She's evil. Intruder, intruder. No, please, you have to listen to me. The fate of the school is in my hands. And if you don't listen to me, then the school and everyone in it will be forever destroyed. Okay, you definitely sound crazy. You need to leave before I contact the police and get you arrested. No, you need to listen to me before it's too late. Okay, that's it. You're going to jail. Uh, but I can't help from jail. I'll have to find another way of doing this. Five minutes later. I don't want to see you back in detention, and I mean it. We promise. Oh, that felt like forever. Yeah, let's make sure we never have to do that again. And why did Josh call me like a hundred times? Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. You should call him back. Kenzie, I've got bad news. What do you mean bad news? You said it was only good news earlier, Josh. What the heck is going on? Josh, why are you doing this to us? 
Sandra is hanging out with Ashley and Ayla, and Noah and the Jock are all there too, and they're having like a super fun time. She backstabbed us? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! What the heck? How do you know this? Are you with them? You traitor, Josh. No, I'm not there. It's just all over social media. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. This is not good, Sky. Okay, we pretty much just need to give up. They're trying to pull her over to the dark side. We need to do something about it. Trying to? Girly, she's already been pulled to the dark side. We don't have any options left. Yeah, Kenzie is right. I wouldn't put too much faith in it because it looks like they're having a great time on socials. Amazing. Well, I guess there's no hope left then. I agree. We need to stay far, far away from her. Moments later. Okay, so what do you want to do? We need to maybe just go home and stay away from public places. That's not a bad idea. Maybe it's best if we just stay low-key for a bit. Yes! You go to Brookhaven High! I need you. I, we, need to put an end to some evilness. Who are you? It's that guy from this morning, girly. I gotta run! Come on, let's go, Sky. Hey! Get back here! Sky, he's chasing us! We gotta go faster, girly! This is not good! Kenzie! Don't say my name, girly! Just run faster! I'm sorry! <sighs> I'll find you, Mackenzie. I will find you and save you from the devil. Meanwhile. So, did you hear any gossip today, Noah? No, nah, not really. Nothing even about Josh? No, he's been like super quiet lately. That is so lame, Noah. Oh, I know something about Josh. Oh, let's hear it. Well, Josh confessed his love for me today. It was so awkward and weird and I just kind of laughed in his face. Oh, we totally need to tell Mackenzie about this. She is not going to be happy. Yeah, she's going to be so upset her man confessed his love for someone else. She's honestly just like so not pretty. So I get why her man's is barking this way. Huh, he never told me he did that. Interesting. Why would he tell you? Because we're on the same ball team and he's honestly not that bad. Why you always going to smack talk him, Ashley? Because he loves Mackenzie. Duh. Whatever. I'm so out of here, guys. He told me he's just jealous of Josh. Wow, that is super embarrassing, right? We should totally start spreading rumors about him. Hey, guys, wait, where did Noah go? He said that you were annoying him, so he left. What the heck? Are you serious right now? Yep, he actually, like, wouldn't shut up about it. He said that? Wait, I thought he said that. Ayla, shut up. God, you're so annoying. So he just left? Yep. Well, he's got to watch out. Apparently, there's this crazy kid outside of Brookhaven being all crazy and saying he needed to help us. And if he didn't, then we would be in big trouble. Wait, what? What did he look like? I don't know. He kind of just looked like this dweeb who was really annoying and had a high squeaky voice. Interesting. Do you know him or something? No. Are you kidding me? I just want to know what he looks like so I don't run into that crazy. Huh, <sighs> makes sense. I always make sense. Two hours later. Mom! What's up, Sandra? I'm just letting you know, I'm the queen of the school already. I'm taking control real easy. And the backstabbing has already begun. Well, you better not mess this up. Come on, have some faith in me. Well, you better focus on taking control of the school. I'm already in the process. I'm getting secrets on everyone and starting rumors already. And I've only been there for one day. Well, all I'm saying is don't mess this up like you did in Bloxburg. We don't want to repeat where we have to move. Mom, do you remember the boy where I ruined his social life forever? Yes, of course, honey. Well, I think he's here. He's here? In Brookhaven? You're kidding me. You need to deal with that. Well, I never said he's here for sure, but he might be. But whether he's here or not, you need to figure that out and put that threat to an end ASAP. I wouldn't be worried. If it's actually him, everyone thinks he's so crazy, so we're good. Ugh, you better hope so. Later that same evening. Hello, young man. I'm sorry, but we're not buying anything. I'm not here to sell anything. Oh, so then why are you here? Uh, I'm friends with Mackenzie. Oh, why don't you just come on in? She's never mentioned you before. Come on, come on in. Yeah, we're like pretty new friends. We just met. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, where is Mackenzie? Oh, she's just upstairs in her room. Okay, thanks, Mackenzie's mom. Mackenzie! Ah, what are you doing here? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not trying to hurt you. I promise. Please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe you. You look scary. I come in peace. I promise. Just please give me a chance. Just hear me out. What? What is it? It's about someone new at your school. That's fake. I'm not sure what her name might be because she could have totally just changed it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. I need my bestie here. Good. The more the better. Get her here ASAP. Five minutes later. So, what do you have to say, crazy? 
crazy boy. All right, time to speak up. Okay, okay, so I'm from Bloxburg. Okay, Bloxburg boy, go off. So who's the new girl at school? What's her name? Her name's Sandra. How do you not know her name? Because she changed her name when she left Bloxburg. She's evil and destroys people's lives. How can we be so sure to trust you? I agree with my bestie. We don't know you. Yeah. Has she been super nice to everyone and started talking badly about people behind their backs to you? And just seems like super fake? Hmm, she has been kind of giving off those vibes. That's because the new girl at school is fake. Well, yes, you've said that. How can we be 100% sure? Ugh, fine. If you're gonna be that way, then cue the flashback. All right, let's see it then. This better be good or we are not trusting you after this. Just cue the flashback. I can't believe we're not allowed in Bloxburg again after what you did. It's not my fault. I tried and I failed. Well, you better not fail here because we're running out of places to go. And eventually, I'm just going to leave you in the dust. How does that sound? Pretty harsh, to be honest, but I guess that's the way we're playing it. We are not playing it. You've got to focus. I mean it. Take control and fix your mistakes from last night. Be slow and steady. Don't rush to take power. But... No buts. Your mom is a pro at this. I did it all throughout school, and you need to take a lesson from me because I never failed as bad as you did. Fine, okay, fine, I'll listen. Good, now let's go. Oh, I'm coming. <gasps> I knew she looked familiar. I can't believe she got kicked out of Bloxburg, and now she's here. That's crazy. And now she's gonna strike again? Man, I need to stop this. I need to stop her before it's too late. This is revenge for what she did to me. Oh! I'm coming for you! Ah! Scary homeless boy! Run! Don't leave me behind for me to fend by myself! Hey, I'm not homeless! I just haven't showered in a few weeks. Oh. I am a complete shock, girly. Me too. That was not very promising. I guess it makes sense, though. Just scary to see. Okay, we need to bring her down for good, then. That's what I've been saying, but no one in this stupid town has been listening to me. Excuse me? Did he just say what I think he did? Yeah, he's throwing shade on Brookhaven. You do not talk shade on Brookhaven. Yeah, this place is, like, way better than Bloxburg. I didn't mean it like that. All I'm saying is that all the people that didn't want to listen to me are just stupid. I'm trying to help you. Why are you fighting me? Well, we need some time to decide if we we want to risk it or go through with this plan. You're not helping your chances by just waiting around. We have to act ASAP. The more we wait, the more powerful she'll become. Well, it all came crashing down for her in Bloxburg. What's to say it won't happen here? Well, because now she's learned from her mistakes. You don't have time to just sit around. I'm telling you. You're not making us want to go with your plan, FYI. Fine. Okay, I'll leave. Please, just don't take too long. And before I go, Sandra loves to voice record people. So please, just watch what you say around her. I mean it. Really? What do you think? I don't know. I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, we both can't not know. That's not good. I did get an emergency email about a crazy person at school. Yeah, the principal seemed pretty scared about everything. And he does fit the description. He's been known to be acting crazy. Yeah, the principal banned that guy from the school, and now the police are going to be guarding it. I mean, there's probably no way he would go back to the school. And if he did, or people found out we were working with him... You don't even have to say it, girly. Well, I'm going to anyways. It would be a catastrophe. Our lives would be a social wreck. Not to mention the possibility of jail time. And being banned from school. And failing out and being unsuccessful losers. Yeah, I think this one is definitely a no-brainer. Okay, we have to stay as far away from that guy as possible. Jeez, what a crazy nut bar. Yeah, agreed. The next morning. Here you two are. Oh, you've been looking for us? What? What's wrong? Not much. I just wanted to ask you something. Well, uh, we wanted to ask you something first. Yeah, there's something that we need to ask you first. Okay, which is? Why were you with Ashley and Ayla last night? I thought you didn't like them. Yeah, are you lying to us? No, oh my gosh, I would never. I just went over to try and find out more things about them. So that when the time is right, we can take them down. So they can stop bullying you and everyone else at the school. Wait, really? Yeah, you girls are definitely my number ones. And don't ever forget it. We won't. Yeah, we're sorry for doubting you, girl. Yeah, that was like so not cool of us. It's okay, I forgive you both, but I do need one favor. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, we owe you like big time. We'll do anything. I need you both to be honest and open with me. I promise I would never be mad at my besties. Okay, yeah, what is it? What were you girls doing yesterday? Uh, not much, honestly. Yeah, uh, we just kind of hung out after detention and then, uh, went home. So, you didn't like see anyone? Uh, what do you mean? Like, you didn't hang out with other people? 
Nope, it was uh, just me and Sky. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you besties later. I gotta head off to my next class. Oh, <sighs> Sky, do you think she believed us? Yeah, why would she? Have? I don't know. Should we have just told her the truth, maybe? Definitely not. That would not have been smart. Okay, agreed. Oh gosh, I wonder if she knows. Well, hopefully not, since we lied. Meanwhile. What's up? They were lying to me. What do you mean? I was outside Mackenzie's house and saw him leaving her house. I think they're working with him. Then you need to put an end to this little boy. Agreed. But first, I need to ruin their social lives before they try anything. Do it fast before you lose control. Already on it. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Why is everyone laughing at us? I don't know, girly, but it's not a good feeling. Do you think it's because of Sandra? It's definitely because of Sandra. Josh, what are you doing in here? Josh, you can't be in the girls' bathroom. This is not okay. Yeah, Josh, this is so weird of you. Just listen to me. It's important and I'm trying to save you. Okay, so what's going on? Speak quickly. Okay, maybe we should just go outside the washroom and talk. We can't do that. We need to talk right here, right now. Hey, tell us the waiting is killing me. What is going on? Okay, so Sandra is spreading like a bunch of fake secrets about the both of you that aren't real. What? You got we have to say something to her. But you can't do that because everyone loves her. Well, everyone needs to know. I can't support you guys if you do. Josh, you're kidding me. No, I'm serious. Well, if you're not with us, then you're against us. And you should probably leave. Ugh, fine. Oh, my God, this is awful. He's the worst. I'm sorry. It's okay. God, I'm just so upset. We need to do something about this. Let's go deal with this right now. You sure right now is a good idea? We don't have a choice. This is is war. We'll have to tell Ashley what she said. 20 minutes later. You're a liar! Excuse me? You're big Sandra and everyone knows it. What are you talking about? Everyone loves her. That's the most craziest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, don't talk dirt on our friend's name. No one is with her except you two. Everyone is going to make sure that she is held accountable for the rumors that she's spreading. She even spread rumors about you, Ashley. Psh, nothing you say will make me believe you. Everyone She's my bestie. She's just trying to steal your spot as top dog. <laughs> no one can do that, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah! You both are crazy. You're actually starting to sound like the crazy boy that's banned from the school. Maybe you should tell the principal so you get banned. Then we'll all be safe. Ooh, looks like Candy and Sky are crazy ladies now. You both need to leave this school right now. I'm banning you myself. And if you don't leave, I'll get everyone in the school to throw you out. This isn't over. You we're coming for you. A few moments later. Ayla is actually such a loser. I would just never want to be friends with her. I just use her. Yeah, I totally would too. I know you would. That's why we get along so good. Yeah, agreed, girl. You're like my number one. You too. I'll be right back though. Oh, hey, what's up, Sandra? Ayla, you're going to want to listen to this. What? What is it? It's a recording of Ashley smack talking you, saying really mean and hurtful stuff. What? You've got to be kidding me. I don't believe you. Here, listen to this. I'll show you. Ayla is actually such a loser. I would never want to be friends with her. I just use her. Oh my gosh. I hate her. Ugh, I'm going to go say something. No, don't do that. We have to take her down and then watch as everyone rips each other apart while we laugh and no one messes with us. Oh my god, yeah, that's actually a great idea. Come on, we've got more rumors to spread. About Ashley? About everyone. Even us? Ugh, no, everyone but us. Moments later. Now, it's time to watch and wait while chaos ensues. And I take complete control of this school. Even the teacher and principals are gossiping. It's never worked so amazing before. Maybe everyone in Brookhaven is just stupid compared to Bloxburg. Now, time to deal with one more thing. Boy from Bloxburg, you're finished, that's for sure. Five minutes later. Time to stick you on this plane, just so you can't ruin my amazing great plans. Even though it's already pretty much too late at this point. Hey, stop! Let me go! Why would I do that? I am the most powerful person in all of Brookhaven High. I know all their secrets, and I've made up loads of rumors, and it is complete chaos now. Why would I ever let you ruin that? I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> we'll see about that. There, now you have no choice but to let me get away with it. Have fun going back to Bloxburg. Bye-bye. Oh, don't do this. 
Don't send me back to Bloxburg! Too late! Oh, attention, everyone! Prepare for liftoff! Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now! Well, at least I'm free with nowhere to go. I guess it's time to skydive! Woohoo! I'm free! And I am putting this to an end once and for all! I'm coming for you, Sandra, or whatever your real name is! Oh, okay, where do I even go now? Good thing I recorded that entire conversation. Now I have proof using our own tricks against her. That's how we fight back, baby! Wait! What the heck? Mackenzie? Sky? Looks like you were right. Yup, we should have listened to you, that's for sure. We should have believed you, but now it's too late to do anything. Our social lives are ruined, and now everyone hates us. No, it's not over. It's never over. Sadly, in this case, it is. Now we're gonna have to move to Bloxburg. No, I don't want to move to Bloxburg. Why don't you just listen to me? I have what we need. What? What do you mean? Yeah, you're gonna have to let us in on this. We don't know what we need. I have a recording of what she said about everything, and it'll literally ruin her. What? Well, why didn't you just lead with that? This will change everything. We can do this. See, I'm telling you, we gotta go and get this done. She thinks I'm on a plane headed back to Bloxburg. How did you escape? Skydive. You're crazy. Come on, guys. We gotta get to the principal's office. Good idea. Wait, why? You'll see. Just trust us and bring the recording. Five minutes later. Let me go this evening. Sandra told me everything about the two of you and that you were both fake. My two favorite students. Fake. I can't believe this. Oh, that's funny. Coming from that wicked witch. Cue the audio. Got it. Blast the audio into here. Why would I do that? I'm the most powerful person in all of Brookhaven High. I know all of their secrets and I've made up loads of rumors. It's complete chaos. Why would I let you ruin that? And Ashley, this one's for you. Sandra told us your secret, that you're broke and you steal money from Ayla. Later that day. You faked weave. You're finished here. Worse off the Mackenzie and Sky. Oh, let me go. Yeah, get her out of here. Yeah, no one likes you. Oh, let me go. If I see you in Brookhaven after sundown, mark my words, you are going to jail. Yeah. You'll pay for this. Meanwhile... Well, it looks like my work here is done. You really did save us, thanks to your boy from Bloxburg. Yeah, you're the best. If you want to stay here, you'll have a group of besties and we'll all love you. I think it's time for me to go back home. It's been so long. Um, excuse me. I know you're all having a moment, but when you get a second, I'd appreciate you untying me and letting me go before I blow a fuse. Oops, on it right now. The next morning... Oh. If you mess this one up, you are going to be disowned and not my daughter anymore, and I mean it. Don't worry, I'm going to take over this next school and then come back to Brookhaven for my revenge. Mark my words.